let me address the new background. This is not new, the white wall, but this. This is new. I've always wanted like a fake tree, just like in general, and I thought it would look great in the background of my videos. I've seen it done by another YouTuber, Sierra Schultze. I've seen it done by her. I thought it looked amazing. She also has something similar. She inspired this white wall as well. I think her background is like on point, and basically I'm copying everything she does. So I know what you're wondering. Why are you wearing that? my really ugly shirt. When I should be wearing the jean jacket I talked about in the title of this video, that's because I can't wear it if I want to show you the design on it because the design is on the back of the jacket. The back it of the jacket, if you will. And I have it right here. Ooh, you got a little glimpse. I just remembered I didn't want to show you the design in the intro so you can watch me kind of make it throughout the video. Um, so yeah, I've never painted like at all in my life. I mean, I've done it like in school and I've probably painted like a couple other times, but I am nowhere near being an avid artist. So please don't judge me on the design I did. I actually like thought of the design really quickly. I saw these denim jacket um, videos where people paint their denim jackets. I initially thought I had an amazing idea from my brain of painting a Bob Ross tutorial painting on the back of a denim jacket, if that makes sense. So I searched it up on YouTube and it was already done. So that's really unfortunate. This design just kind of like clicked in my head for whatever reason. I would like never thought about this kind of thing before and it was really fun to do. So please don't judge me on my design. I hope you like it. I'm considering giving the jacket away because I tried it on and though it is my size, it didn't really fit how I liked it. I think it looks a little funky on me. It is done with fabric paint and I'm pretty sure it's washable. So I don't know, like if I end up selling it or giving it away, um, that's just a fun fact for you. So please enjoy the making of this jacket and uh, feast your eyes on me trying to be an artist, even though I'm not, thank you. So to start off, I'm gonna tell you what kind of paint I used. I literally, this is like the first thing I saw at Michael's, uh, which is the store I got it at. If you don't know what Michael's is, it's a craft store. I, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what a Michael's is. It is the Imagine 8, it's I-M-A-G-I-N, and then the number eight. So that's very complex. I don't know why they named their company that because it's kind of confusing. But the paint I feel like worked great. Um, I don't have a whole lot to base it off of because like I said, I'm not an artiste. I think in the end it turned out very well. Um, so that's the product I used. I just found a bunch of paint brushes in my apartment. So as far as specific paint brushes, I don't really have... Um, any suggestions for that because I just grabbed the first thing I can find. The jacket is from Target. It's Goodfellow and Co. I believe that's Target's brand. And if you're wondering, it's in the size double XL. So, so essentially my method to all of this madness is outlining the kind of curve of the color and then filling it in with like a different brush. I would use the actual bottle that the pack of paint supplied to do the outline and then I would take whatever paintbrush trying to get the right size to not like make it go outside the lines so I tried that's really the only specification I tried to get for each brush is the size um I don't really know how different shapes of brushes really affect paintings and stuff like that so that didn't really matter to me and I think the colors look really good like right here but as they dried, especially the yellow, oh my gosh, like even right now you can see the denim shining through the yellow, they would kind of like fade almost and become a little bit transparent. So in all, I think I had to do like four coats for the rainbow part. So that was, that was a tough time. So this part I feel like requires a little bit of an explanation. So essentially my idea for the letters initially was to outline them in black and then fill in the parts that are within the outline in white, if that makes sense. And then I messed up, I made the D and R in Dream, like, huge. And I was like, I can't do that, because then, like, the design's gonna go over this, like, rectangle that I'm trying to stay in, as you can see. And so then I just spread out the paint and decided to do a black 
like paint stroke looking background for white letters, which I actually ended up liking a lot more than the initial, well, maybe not. I don't know. I think they both look really good, but another thing I should point out, now you can see the colors in the rainbow drying and starting to look a little bit crusty. So you'll see me do extra coats and stuff here soon. So here's me doing the second coat. I wish the colors would have stayed as bright as they look with like a fresh coat, which with this paint seemed to be probably the main problem. Um, Cause as you can see, as I'm going over them again, they look amazing. I think like even the yellow looks pretty darn good, especially the green, the green is really bright. And by the end, once it was like fully dried, you could not really tell the difference between the purple and the blue. And right here, obviously you really can, like the purple's pretty light and the blue is relatively dark, but is still a stark difference between the purple and the green next to it. But once it dried, it kind of just blended together into one, like, big blob of dark blue, which I was really kind of disappointed in. So next came the letters, and that was quite the adventure. I think it got off to a very good start, and the first letter was a good size, and then it, like, I don't know. I don't even really know what happened. Like, my handwriting used to be where, like, if I was writing on paper without lines, it would, like, slowly slant down, which was a really weird thing that would happen. The first take at this just looked really sloppy, and then, like, the REAM all looks like way bigger and I don't know it just looks kind of weird like now looking at it it looks kind of good but like as you can see the A goes off of the black stripe unfortunately this next part that I'm going to talk about wasn't recorded but the N in on I like totally screwed it up like it looked terrible so luckily this paint dried really quickly so I was actually able to wait a couple minutes and then just go over it like you can see I'm doing now so there is an N under that black paint that I'm painting painting right now. So then I was able to redo it and then the second take at the end looked really good and then it was on to just kind of fixing the letters in dream. So I don't know where the idea of the stars came from, but I know stars are like really trendy, especially on YouTube, like for thumbnails and stuff. Literally rainbows and stars don't even go together. Like stars are from space and at night and rainbows are only visible during the day. But I digress. I decided to add a few stars and I think it ended up looking really cool. I think the word dream also just kind of resonates with stars really well. Um, So as kind of separate rainbows and stars are, I think they went very well together. And then as you can see, I fixed the N. I did the second take at the N, which like I said before, looks really good in my opinion. And then I um, fixed a little bit of the E because there was like a splotch of white paint like in between the bottom line and the middle line in the E, which looked like a fourth line, so it like wasn't even an E anymore, but that was really easy to fix. And now you can especially see that the A and the M in Dream look way bigger than the DRE. So um, that was something I also had to fix. While I was kind of doing the stars and the letters and everything, I was also focusing on the colors of the rainbow, just kind of making sure they were holding their brightness and if they needed another color, Coat, then I would just kind of do that. I think I used a really good method at fixing the DR in Dream. I just kind of like added paint around the edges and then if the holes, if you will, in um, the D and the R were kind of off center, then I would just like add paint where it needed to be. And then it ended up looking really good. And then I just went down to the stars and kind of added a second coat there to make them more bright. And I think this is where the jacket really took kind of its shape and I think it looks really bright. I think the the design just looks amazing and I kind of went into this with just kind of some paint and some brushes and a blank denim jacket and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. So this is me just going over the rainbow colors once again. Another problem I thought I'd mention was in the colors like orange and red specifically that had more of a square footage to cover. I literally like ran out of red and you can see in this footage. Um, hopefully you can tell because it's going pretty fast. I'm like literally squeezing like the last existing drops of the red paint um, to try and get one more coat out of the bottle. If I were to have more paint, I think I could have gone over the colors a couple more times and it would have turned out a lot brighter. But um, overall, I still really like how it turned out. But once again, I, oh my gosh, like just watching this footage again, especially the purple. I just love how bright all the colors look. 
look, and I wish they would have stayed that way um, after they dried, but they just didn't. But I still think it looks great. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here is the finished jacket. It says Dream On. I'm gonna overlay a few clips of me wearing it. I initially wanted to do the rainbow and then Dream On, and the stars just kind of came to me. Like, <laughs> I'm just a genius like that. I think it takes up all the space really well. It doesn't really like overpower the back of the jacket. There's still a lot of color and a lot of subtlety in the black and white of the text and the white stars. I kind of wanted to outline the letters and stuff like that, but I just didn't. I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool how it's like paint strokey, if that's a word. It's not. Also the, um, I hope I didn't mention this too much in my voiceovers because I'm recording this portion of the video before the voiceover portion. The color of the depth Denim is really dark and these are very bright colors, at least the yellow, orange, and red are. Oh wow, what the frick? You can barely even tell the difference between the purple and blue, by the way. It almost looks like they're both purple. But as I was saying, the denim, the dark color of the denim really shines through, especially in the yellow and the orange. The red did pretty well and as you saw, I did go over it a few times over each color, as a matter of fact. And I think this whole thing turned out really well. I would have liked the purple and blue to be a little bit more bright so you could tell what they are but I think everyone knows what a rainbow is pretty much so there you go by the way I didn't mean for this to be like a pride thing I mean I'm really glad that it like can't be taken that way but I don't know why a rainbow came to me I really don't this is how the text ended up looking I think it turned out really well for what had happened during the process of the painting I had to go over this N once and like redo it and then the DRE looked really small compared to the AM in dream but I think the text turned out really well I am very surprised that the stars turned out really well and then the rainbow of course I think turned out very well I do like that I darkened the color denim is already dark but I like that I used black to kind of outline the text um, and I just think it looks really cool and I think something kind of like this could be sold in a store for like a ridiculous amount of money and this is basically free minus the actual jacket and the paint and the paint brushes. Maybe I should have just bought one. Just kidding. I like it that it's custom. But that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want me to do something else like this on my channel in the future, please let me know. I'm always scouting for ideas. So yeah, just kind of a PSA. If you ever think of an idea, shoot it down in the comments below and hopefully I will see it. This is the first like type of video like geared towards art or anything like that that I think I've like ever done. So um, that's cool. I did my sister's makeup once and I had her do my makeup. But thanks so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below telling me your thoughts, your opinions, anything you want. Just leave it down there. Type on your little keyboard and let me know. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for the notifications because who doesn't want to be notified when I upload a video? I don't know. I upload every Saturday, so if you want to see your weekend get 10 million times better, go ahead and subscribe and tap the bell. And that's going to do it for this video. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next Saturday. Bye.